Hi. In this lesson in Excel, I'm going to show you how to use the function called bubble sort. This is sort of a computer science problem, but it works very well here visually in Excel. You can see that I have a list of sorted numbers here from 4 to 92, and they have co they're coded and they are also graphed. I'm going to recopy those cells as a demonstration, and I'm going to paste over top of them. So let's do a right click and paste values. Let's see, paste values is there. Okay, so you can see that now they are not sorted. I click the button that says sort the list. And as you can watch the, uh, uh, the bubbling going on, the red and the yellow are going to float to the top as the loop goes on the program. And so the uh, darker green falls to the bottom. So when the sorting is done, the graph should update, and there it is. We see them sorted from least to greatest. So the magic of this happens behind the scenes in something called Visual Basic for Applications. Let me show you what the code looks like. Here's the program, and then I'm going to explain to you what it does. So if this is interesting, continue on, and I'll show you how to make this step by step. All right, so let's go through this process step by step. I'm going to go back into Excel and start with a blank notebook. Now, the first thing I need to do is create some uh, random numbers. So I'm going to come down to row 20 and put an equal sign and type in uh, random, and I'm choosing the function called rand between. What this is, is a number generator. So I'm going to put a number between 0 and 100, and then I'm going to fill down eight different rows. I'm only choosing eight rows because it's somewhat short and it keeps the animations uh, from going on and on and on. Okay, so there's our first numbers. Now I want to copy those numbers, so right-click and copy, and come up to the top, and now I'm going to right-click and choose Paste Values. So that will show us that in this row we have an 86, However, down in here, if I click on any of these cells, it still shows the formula. So these are static numbers now. All right, so now I want to have these color coded. So let's uh, highlight the range, and I'm going to choose conditional formatting. And I'm going to choose color scales, and you can pick any color scale you like. If you like colors like blues and reds or greens, your choice. Let's try some, uh, let's try the green to red. All right, let's make a graph. So let's select these, make a chart. So we go to Insert and choose a chart. So the chart is found, looks like here, in a 3D bar chart. And that'll work fine. Okay, so now I've got my chart, I've got my numbers. Now I need to create a button to sort them. The tab that I need now is called Developer. Now, if you don't see Developer on here, you can make it appear by choosing right-click on any of these items and choosing uh, customize the ribbon. When you just customize the ribbon, you can come down to developer and either turn it on or turn it off. So I want to have it checked on. Now I select developer and I choose Visual Basic. Here's the code. So take a second here. You can type this in. I'm going to explain it while you're typing. First of all, we need two loops. We need a for loop using I, a for loop using J. Then I check to see if the cells, the cell at J1, has a value that is greater than cell of J plus 1. So that means take the current cell in the loop and compare it to the one below. If it is greater, then this will create a condition where we need to swap the two. Swap the two values. So we create a temporary value and assign it the contents of J comma 1. Then we swap the two by saying J1 is equal to the next cell down, which is J plus 1. And then we take the original J plus 1 and give it the temp value. So it takes three variables to swap two places. Now the next statement here is a statement to wait for one second. So it says I'm going to cause the application to pause. It'll freeze your application. It says take the uh, now time, which is whatever date we are now, and add to it one second and so it'll pause for one second. And then we'll have the end if statement, and then we have the next J and the next I. So these are two loops that run inside of each other. All right, so I'm going to go back into the Excel worksheet here. So now I would like to add a button. So let's see, is there something in here? Insert controls, and I want to choose a button. And I'll just draw the button somewhere down here. First thing it says is, what is your macro that you're going to use? So I'm going to use the one called bubble sort. 
So you can see it's saved in the uh, spreadsheet already. So I click OK. Now I can rename this instead of button 1, I can call it sort. And now if I click this, you will see I get a hand. It should start running and you can see that the, uh, the, the sorting is happening. It's only sorting from rows 1 through 8, so it looks like this number 9 is going to be an extra row. Now you notice the random numbers, they continually to change, so we can ignore those. And when we're finished, we've sorted from 0 through 8. So I really didn't want 9 in there, I'm going to clear it out. So let's do a clear contents. And we can also probably just delete this graph and recreate it using only 1 through 8. And then you'll have yourself a completed uh, example of a bubble sort. There it is. So please check out the uh, other videos on my channel. I have hundreds of them for Excel and Word, also for programming using C Sharp and PHP and other languages. And so check out my channel at Shad Sluder at YouTube.